So today we're going to graph inequalities. Today we're going to graph inequalities. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the less than and greater than symbols. And so I like to use this little notes sheet, and I'll put it up here. This is the greater than symbol, this is the less than symbol, and both of those would be graphed with an open circle. If it includes the equal to line, that will include the line underneath it, and those will be closed circles when I'm graphing them. And then we also have a symbol that's called an, um, not equal to, and so we would be able to graph it also. We aren't going to practice any of those today. I uh, want to just basically look at your um, inequalities. And so I have a couple of notes. Um, when I'm asking my students to graph inequalities, I expect at least three numbers on the number line. And this is kind of to prove that you understand how the number line works. I still find a lot of students struggle on the negative side of the number line. And so if you put three numbers, I'll know that you and I are um, graphing it in the same manner. My next rule or my next expectation is that if the variable isn't first, I would suggest rewriting it. It will make your life a little bit easier um, as we go. And then a reminder that you need to shade appropriately. Greater than or equal to need to be a filled in shaded circle and less than and greater than need to be an open circle. So if we keep those um, things in mind, let's go ahead and graph the following um, problems. So this is x is greater than negative 5. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put a negative 5, a negative 4, and a negative um, 6 on my number line. And because it's above that, I'm going to put my circle above it. Um, some teachers will like you to actually put yours on the number line itself. My, my handwriting is such that I like mine to float up above. See how it's pointing towards the negative 5? And we want numbers that are larger than that. So numbers that are larger go on this side. And so I'm going to draw my arrow like that. And I have put the arrow at the end of it here. And what you should notice is that the symbol here should match the symbol here if my letter is first. And so we're just going to try several right in a row. Again, I have um, some numbers here, so I have negative 2, negative 1. Put my um, circle above there. It is a line, so I'm going to go ahead and fill it in immediately. And it is wanting numbers that are smaller, so the smaller part of the graph is on that side. And again, you will notice that those match, and so that you should be able to go ahead and see that as you're following along. So again, I'm going to go ahead and do a few. Um, why don't you stop the movie right here or pause the movie and see where we're at. Um, okay, now all I have done is put the numbers on the number line for us so that we can continue. And so as we look here, we have a closed circle above the 4. And it is, we want numbers that are larger than 4 and currently 5 is larger than 4. So just going on that side. Now we have x is smaller than or less than um, 0, and so again, we're going to have an open circle, and we want the numbers that are on the smaller than sign. And if you notice, my symbols match. Now what happens here is I have to think about this problem when they're backwards. This is negative 6 is smaller than or equal to c which really means C is greater than or equal to negative 6. Those two representations mean the same thing. C is greater than on this side and it is greater than on that side, regardless of what the symbol in the middle um, puts. So that's why I'm going to have the C go first when I want to graph it. And so it's going to be C is greater than um, or equal to negative 6. So I'm going to color in my circle and I want the numbers that are larger than negative 6. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I think about it like flipping the whole thing. If you just take it and you just flip it over. So if you were to pick it up like it was a paper strip and put it on the opposite side, see how the pointy side is pointing to the D, so it should still be pointing to the D. So it's exactly the opposite problem when we rewrite it. So now I have less than or equal to negative 3. So again, I'm going to um, do a closed circle, and I am pointing to numbers that are on the smaller side or the less than symbol. So again, that is a quick little overview of how to graph um, inequalities. Thanks.